In this short video, I'm going to build a um, cloud service for Windows Azure, uh, which uses uh, a CGI web role, and I'm going to use PHP. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to create a new project, and this is going to be a uh, Visual C Sharp uh, cloud service project, and I'm going to call this um, PHP Cloud Service 1. And I am going to add a uh, web role to that project, but it's going to be a CGI uh, web role. And that's all I'm going to put in the project for now. Okay, so um, it uh, goes off and creates a little uh, project for me based on that template and uh, I need to now uh, do a couple of things. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I need to move into uh, that project a um, downloaded uh, PHP um, uh, processor which I uh, got. I'll uh, I'll put uh, links in my uh, blog as to where you can can get these things, but you can get them from a number of places. Um, so I need to pretty much just take a copy of that downloaded um, directory, and I can put it over in my um, project uh, directory. Here is my PHP cloud service. So in the um, web role folder, I uh, drop a copy of that um, PHP. And I'm going to just for simplicity here uh, rename that folder simply to PHP. Okay, so now I've got um, that available and uh, what, what I need to do is um, kind of hook it up within, within um, Visual Studio and uh, then make some changes to my uh, project configuration. Now this is uh, something that I ended up having to do uh, manually and perhaps there's a better way to do it, but um, you need to uh, uh, create a, uh, a new folder in your um, project called PHP and then I can in that folder um, add all this stuff and uh, one thing I found um, that was also uh, necessary was um, changing if they're not already set make sure that the uh, PHP CGI uh, executable is set to content build action and also that the PHP any file is set set to content content so that um, they get uh, copied into the appropriate places when the uh, project is deployed. Um, okay, so uh, now we can go ahead and um, fill in some details here. You can see that uh, uh, the first file that we are being prompted to change is this web role config and what I need to do here is um, set a path uh, to where my CGI handler can be found. So I'm going to just uh, get rid of these comments and uh, the first part of this always has to stay the same. Uh, role root, app root, and then uh, we are down in this PHP folder and it's uh, PHP uh, CGI Dot exe and we are not going to um, pass any parameters. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much all we need to do with this file so we can save it. Uh, we now need to make some changes to the web config um, to enable the uh, uh, IIS is fast CGI implementation. Um, we uh, go to the handlers section 
and here in fact we have to add which what kind of amounts to almost the same information. Um, we can uh, again delete some of these comments and uh, here's where we're going to add the handler. Uh, so we're going to call this the PHP fast CGI handler and it's going to um, use files that have a PHP extension and here again we need to put in um, our uh, path to our executable. And that's basically it for now in terms of getting the thing to, to work with PHP. Um, but we now uh, can go ahead and make some, um, uh, some uh, PHP content. Our content is going to be very simple. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate any particular skill in PHP programming, um, but um, we're going to just go ahead and add a, um, I'm going to make an HTML page, but I'm going to call it index.php, and I'm going to go ahead and drop that in, and uh, we're going to stick some um, code in here. And just to show that uh, PHP is working, um, I'm going to just grab uh, some stuff on my clipboard and stick it in here. Um, we're going to just uh, run a little script uh, that uh, that loads up and load up a form. Then we're going to process that form, and uh, we're going to then go to an action page. So we need to create an action page over here, and I will do that the same way um, as an HTML page. But I'll call this action.php, and um, again, it's not. Uh, anything amazingly uh, complicated, but we're just going to stick in some um, some code in there, some PHP code. Uh, okay, um, well, the only thing that we now have left to do, I'll just save this stuff, is um, in our web config, we need to uh, set up um, a uh, default document um, for our web server. So, uh, just, this basically, just going to tell our default um, or tell our web server to go look at that index.php uh, file as our um, default document. So, I'll make a default uh, document tag here, and I'm going to add a uh, files section. And uh, I'm going to add into there a value um, equals uh, index.php. OK, that should basically be it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save this here and uh, build it. If I've done everything correctly. OK, it says the build has succeeded. And um, let's see if we can now run it from uh, our development environment. OK, here's my little PHP uh, application running. And my script processes. Okay, in this video we saw a, a simple example of how to um, use the CGI web role uh, to get a um, PHP website um, up and running uh, in our development fabric and um, we could then go ahead and deploy this application uh, to the Azure cloud and uh, I will uh, probably do that in a later video.